Tara, and I'm here today with Megan Moon from The Healing Moon, and we're going to talk about a topic we have not talked about yet on mm-hmm. FFB. It's Tai Chi, and when I met Megan, I was really excited because I took a very small little bleep of Tai Chi in college, and I loved it, yeah. um, and didn't really, I didn't really name nobody out here who was doing the work that you do, and you do a lot of different work, so we're just going to talk today about Tai Chi, we'd be Absolutely. here all afternoon. She's fascinating, all the different <laughs> things that she does, but I want to know about, if you don't know what Tai Chi is, just... Give us a base of how this art form was created. Um, tai Chi was something that was um, practiced as a form of uh, inner control and balance um, for centuries in China. And for the last 50 plus years, anyone who's ever won any kind of martial arts title was a Tai Chi master first. And the reason is it's, it's the foundation for all of the other art forms um, that we call martial arts in this country. Um, in comparison to yoga, like how is this internal martial art um, effective the way yoga is effective for wellness and well-being for people? Um, yoga is static postures that um, help people amp up certain what the Chinese meridians in their body, okay? And it helps them feel better at the end of the class because they've stretched, they've gotten oxygen in their muscles, they feel better. Yoga's a good thing. Tai Chi is... Um, is different in that you, it is not a static posture. There is no stopping. There is no pausing. You're in a constant flow of movement for mm. two and a half to three minutes. But each one of the postures within that two and a half to three minutes correlates with an internal organ. So what that's doing is activating your heart, activating your spleen, activating your liver, all of your processing organs, your kidneys. And so there's a greater level of detoxification that occurs naturally and internally in the body in order to help people feel better and have greater wellness after doing the Tai Chi form. You take the Tai Chi class for 30 hours, you learn the form, you go home, you can do it every day for two and a half minutes. This, in today's lifestyle, I think is more beneficial than having to commit to a yoga class that is ongoing that you never go home and do on your own. You might go home and do one or two postures. You might stretch, but it's not that you're not going to get the same benefit unless you go to the class. Whereas with us, returning students are welcome to stop in for an hour-long class for a $5 love donation whenever they want on Mondays from 1 to 2. But for the most part, they go home and they take their form home, and they're no longer committed to a class. It becomes a drop-in whenever they want. And it's very affordable. $5 for an hour is extremely affordable. Yeah, that's great. And you do... You do 10 weeks, mm-hmm. three hours at a time. So it's mm-hmm. not even multiple times during the week. You can just go. That's right. I've got this. And I love that idea. I think so many of us are looking for what can I do that, that I can incorporate into my lifestyle versus having to carve out right. extra time. Now, what about ages? If I've never done Tai Chi before, mm-hmm. maybe I'm not a very in-shape person. I'm going, all right, I'm looking to get healthy. I want the the you know benefits that you're talking about from a health mm-hmm. standpoint. Is there an age limit where now I'm too old, I'm not flexible enough, no, I'm too... there is no age limit. There is no such thing as too old. There is, um, you know, certain things that you can have happen as you're older that would make, that would preclude you from the form. Um, you like know. injuries? Exactly, like okay. exactly. Um, you know, but most smaller level things, it heals. And so hmm. it's it becomes a healing form and is very helpful to the majority of people that contact me. God, I've only told one or two people in, in years, no, I don't think this is the course for you. And it's because they have a brand new plastic hip or something. Do you see what I'm saying? That, that, would, that, that would be difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, anybody over the age of 14, um, all the way until however old you can get and still move your little body. And it is good to go. And what's interesting is you've had people who have said to you, oh my gosh, this is the first time I've been able to touch my toes. I love you. You have a story about a woman who said, I stopped gardening because I mm-hmm. physically couldn't. And mm-hmm. after doing this class, has a garden. That's right. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. I love that. And you really, I mean, you've been doing this a long time. You mm-hmm. know your stuff. You've been teaching since when? Uh, I started uh, teaching for Colorado Mountain College in 2002. 2002. So a number of years. And you teach at different places. You can certainly find out where Megan um, teaches in the class that you're doing. And I know you have another one that's starting. November 16th. We have two classes starting November 16th. And one is half full and the other's open. Yes, yeah, so you can get in on that. And we're actually going to have you come back in a few weeks because you'll be opening a whole new, um, it's called Regeneration. Rejuvenation Station. Rejuvenation it's a, Station. It's a wellness center, and um, it will include massage, energy work, um, 
classes that will be free to all the members, chiropractic and acupuncture care. Um, it's a massive endeavor that begins on the 1st of January. So we'll be excited to hear more about that when you mm-hmm. come back in a few yeah. weeks. You'll be excited to share that with us. But if you've never tried Tai Chi before, just check out a class, contact Megan, find out you know, how this could be incorporated into your life. I know I really enjoyed the classes mm-hmm. that I did. Um, so we're excited to have you right here in Colorado. Yeah. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by Thanks. and sharing with us. And we will see you next week.